Hello world, this is Lubna from Troncard. Today we will discuss about e-ink display which is widely used on e-readers. Latest technology has swallowed over books and replaced with soft copies and videos. Nick Sheridan saved their interest and made first e-ink display. The basic working is, by using white and black tiny micro capsules, positively charged white pigments and negatively charged black pigments. So by applying positive charge, we can attract black pigments on the surface of the screen to make the text visible. Since there is no backlight and radiations, and 170 degree wide viewing angle makes it feel like reading a newspaper. This comes with 4.2 inch display module of resolution 400 by 300 with embedded controller communicating via SPI interface. And it supports red, black and white colors. It works 3 to 5 volt DC with 3 wire and 4 wire SPI pins. It will take maximum of 15 seconds for full refresh. Now let's connect the e-paper to our Arduino Uno board. A 3.3 bar 5 volt is given to both the e-paper and the Arduino Uno board. Connect both the ground pins. The D in pin of e-paper is connected to the digital pin 11 of Uno. Similarly, the clock pin of e-paper is connected to the 13th pin. The chip select pin is connected to the 10th pin. The data command control pin is connected to digital pin 9. The external reset pin is connected to the 8th pin of Uno board. Finally, the busy state output pin is connected to the digital pin 7. Now we have made all the connections. The image you wish to display must be of resolution 300 by 400 and have to be converted into a bitmap format. Then it should be converted to a C array format. We can use online image to C array converters or other softwares like LCD image converter for this. Then the CRA of the image should be loaded into the library file corresponding to the image data. Compile and upload the code after verifying the connection. Some crucial points to be noted are, there are two types of display update, partial and full update. You cannot partial update all the time. After some time updates, you must have to update it fully, else display will be damaged and beyond repair. It shouldn't be powered on for a long time. You have to switch it to sleep mode or standby mode, else it will be destroyed. It is suggested to fully refresh every 24 hours or at least 10 days, else most of the past content may not be fully cleared. You should not refresh it under direct sunlight. You can control the border color by controlling 0 by 3 C register. 